What's up friends? Welcome back to another video and welcome if you're new here. My name's Alex. This is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks. My pronouns are he him and I am a YA contemporary writer based on sports and writing own voices trans stories. So today I'm going to be talking about my writing update because I haven't updated you since August and I have some fun writing vlog content as well. So let's get into it. So it's October 22nd and I actually started a writing vlog this month where I was going to write every morning for a week and I've only done it twice. So that whole concept is out the window. However, this weekend I am going to participate in the first ever Worldwide Write-a-thon. I will have the links down below if you want to participate in it in the future. I believe they're probably going to be doing it again, but it is Friday. It starts at 6 and I have a lot of shit to do. I am filming another vlog which is a rating vlog and I wanted to get that finished this weekend before I do this. So let's head over to Past Me where I talk about where my writing is at the moment. So today is Tuesday, October 12th. Yesterday was the first official day that I started revising. I revised for like a long time and I revised 1100 words which was pretty good. I'm rewriting a scene right now. I'm um, just changing a scene that I don't want anymore to be something else. But as I'm revising, I'm realizing that I don't know how to write a romance. I am revising and realizing that my romance might be too quick. My book follows a class project. So my main character has to do a project with a girl that he despises. Um, and something happened in childhood and he still hasn't let it go. As I am revising, I'm realizing that I think that the enemies to lovers is too quick. So I was like, how do I fix that? Um, because Save the Cat really just goes over the basics. I don't think it really goes over like the romance. So I looked it up as one does and I see that Alexa Dunn has a video and so I watched it and it was awesome. I'll link it down below. I never thought that you need to have a separate outline for your romance. So I went to Word and I did that and so I think that that is another part of my day today is just filling that out. I filled it out along with the video but I still have some other things that I want to add. Oh that was a game changer. She really went over so many things. I love her videos. I think they're just so informative and great writing tips and they've helped me a lot especially in this area because I was feeling like it was too quick and her advice was awesome. So since that clip I have hit 38,000 words revised and I still have a ways to go. So since you saw the title I'm sure most of you are here to find out what I'm doing for NaNoWriMo. So what I'm doing for NaNoWriMo is I am going to attempt to finish my revisions. Pretty much my goal is to get my revisions done by the end of the year so that then I can go back and keep revising it and then be able to send it to my friends in 2022. So those are some of my temporary writing plans for the end of the year. I say temporary because they could change at any minute depending on what happens in my life. So I would like to get my revisions done by the end of the year and if NaNoWriMo could help me that would be awesome. But I don't think I'm going to really focus on numbers because I just want to get shit done. I don't want to be like oh I didn't hit my word count. So I am gonna have to reflect on that with myself and try and figure out a plan. I love going back to my draft because I just love this book. I have so much fun and it makes me very happy when I go into it. I'm immediately laughing because all of my characters are just angsty teenage boys and it's just fun. Like honestly I have the most fun when I am there. If you've ever attended one of my productivity sprints you could just see when I'm revising that I'm just laughing to myself and talking to my characters because they are just all a mess. 
So my goals for the end of the year are to get my revisions done and hopefully November will treat me right and help me with that goal. So I don't really have like a big NaNoWriMo goal. I just want to keep revising and get this done. So let me know if you're participating in NaNoWriMo and what your plans are, what you're working on, and hit subscribe if you're new here because I will hopefully be doing more writing content in November. My content calendar is pretty open so I'm not going to be doing a big video in November I believe. So November will probably be dedicated to my writing. And if this is the first writing video you're seeing from me, I'll have a playlist up above of all of my writing vlogs if you would like to watch them and just find out more about my projects. And then hopefully 2022 is when I will dive more into my high school musical retelling, but I really want to focus on breaking the ice to get it finished and hopefully get it into the hands of someone. Now let's talk about research. I know everyone has been saying how much they love me talking about me researching for my book, so I'm going to continue doing that. And I have two books that I would like to read. Now, if this is your first time here, I have a character with type 1 diabetes and that is not something that I can relate to. I don't experience that. And so I'm trying to do the best research I can so I can have a solid representation in the book. So this is Let Me List the Ways by Sarah White. I read on Goodreads from a type 1 diabetic reviewer saying that this has really good rep even if it's not own voices. So I picked it up and I'm excited to read it. I am just going to read it for research purposes and I will share my experience reading it in my writing vlogs. So I picked this up because of that review but also because I want to see how it's written in YA and just how someone else writes it because I am just writing it from the research I'm doing and I feel like it might be easier to actually read a character and be able to kind of figure out how I could write it as well. Obviously not writing it this So I wanted to see how a YA author writes it and since this has good rep I decided to pick it up and I'm excited to see how it is but I'm really just reading it for research purposes not for like is this a good book or not. And the last book is to help me with my romance crisis that I was having in the clip you saw. I was not sure how to write an enemies to lovers and I feel like I haven't read many until I found Tell Me How You Really Feel by Amina May Safi and I picked this one up specifically because it has enemies to lovers but it also has a school project element and my book has childhood friends to enemies to lovers and they have to do a school project together and I was really struggling with that and so I'm really excited to read this. So You'll hopefully see these books pop up in future writing vlogs. So that is it for my writing update. If that's all you were here for, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video very soon. And if you're gonna stay, here is the rest of the writing vlog. Hello, thank you for staying. I am going to get some work done and then it'll be time for the write-a-thon. Hello, as I'm editing this video, I'm realizing I did not explain what the write-a-thon is. So let me do that really quickly. The write-a-thon actually started in August of 2020. And like I said, the links will be down below. This was a weekend write-a-thon. It started on Friday at 6 p.m. and it ended on Sunday at 6 p.m. And so you're just attending writing sprints and trying to write as much as humanly possible. So it was really fun. I enjoyed it and back to the video. Hello friends, let me make this quick because it is 2.30 and another sprint for the Worldwide Write-a-thon has begun and I want to get into it because I am four pages away from finishing the fun and games portion of my book. I am struggling in the fun and games because it is so long. It is 20% to 50% of your book according to Save the Cat 
and I am struggling, but I am four pages away from being done. My main character is being stubborn as always, and so I am going to finish up the fun and games section, and I will be back later, but I just wanted to give a quick update because I'm so excited. So I'm going to hop into the next writing sprint that's going on, but I just wanted to update because I'm so excited that the fun and games section is almost over because I've been struggling through it so much because this is my second draft of the book. I am just taking things from the first draft and revising them and just trying to see what fits and I just want the fun and games to be over and then I can get into the midpoint. So I have four pages left and I will update you when this whole sprint is over. Bye. Hello, I had some things to attend to but I would like to update that unfortunately I'm still on the fun and games because I just didn't like what I was writing and I was like I just know I'm gonna have to cut this in the next draft so what's the point so I just scrapped it. it so it might have been like a hundred words so that really isn't that bad but there is the last and final sprints of the worldwide write-a-thon going on and I will update you at the end. I am on page 144 and I have one page left to go in the fun and games and I just want to be done so I'm very excited that I'm almost there but I just actually have to get there. The fun and games portion is finally over. That was not fun at all. There was no fun or games going on. Um, well, there's the scene is fun, but I did not have fun going through the fun and games. It was torture. But now I can finally move on to the midpoint and I'm so so happy. Hello, it is seven o'clock. I am going to wrap up for the weekend because I just ended the last sprint of the Worldwide Write-A-Thon. I loved this so much. I had so much fun yesterday and today was when I really started and I have a total of words that I wrote and revised for this weekend. And so I have a total word count for the weekend and the total is 4,000 387 words. I will be back at the end of the week to wrap this up and share what my NaNoWriMo goal is going to be because like I said I'm not doing like a strict goal but I want to see what I should just do in November to be able to finish out in December. So currently I'm at the midpoint which makes me so happy because now everything is really coming together. I am currently revising the scene where Gabe and his partner have to actually sit down and do the project now. Like this is like crunch time. The project is going to be due when they come back from winter break. My writing is done for the day and for the weekend so I will be back at the end of the week to share with you what my final NaNoWriMo goal is going to be and I say that loosely because like I said I don't have like a specific goal but I want to just see what I need to do in November to be able to achieve my goal of finishing revisions in December and I have a lot going on in December so I want everything to just work out but who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> anyway I will see you at the end of the week but for you it'll be the next clip. 
Hello, welcome to the end of this writing vlog. I have my calculator and my NaNoWriMo goal. So my total to complete revisions is 41,008 words. So I am just dividing that in half and I have 20,000 words for my NaNoWriMo goal, which I think is feasible. It'll be good, especially since I'm just revising and I don't think there's many scenes that I have to like rewrite. I've kind of already done that. There might be like a couple more, but I think I will be able to complete that. As for NaNoWriMo content, I'll probably just do a monthly writing vlog. I think that'll just be easier. So don't forget to hit subscribe, turn on my post notifications, and thank you for watching. Let me know if you are participating in NaNoWriMo, and if not, just let me know if you are working on anything writing-wise. Or if you just wanted to let me know that you were here, comment a hockey stick emoji down below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one very soon. Bye.